Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to Rams TV. So for today, we're going to be taking a look at why it's likely that we're going to get Michael Myers and or Candyman as a DLC guest character in Mortal Kombat 11. But before I get into any of that, be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so before I talk about the video's topic, I actually wanted to talk about my videos and more specifically my gameplay. So I do try to read almost all the comments, just as many as I can, and I see so many people asking me why do I put Injustice 2 gameplay in the background if I'm talking about Mortal Kombat 11. Well, I see that a lot of people have replied for me, and if you're one of those people, thank you so much, you're awesome, and you've gotten it right almost every time, and the answer is because of demonetization. So because of Mortal Kombat's gory and violent nature, any video with Mortal Kombat gameplay in it gets demonetized almost instantly. Now as you can see I am playing Mortal Kombat 11 in the background of this video but I was sure to not use any crushing blows, fatal blows, brutalities or anything like that to avoid the demonetization. And obviously guys demonetization is not good, every YouTuber is trying to avoid that. So that is the answer for why I put Injustice gameplay, but I will mix it up. I'll put some MKX stuff maybe, Injustice 2, MK11 if it doesn't get demonetized, and even Injustice 1 since just yesterday, Injustice 1 became free for everyone with a PS4 or Xbox One. So do expect a variety of gameplay in the future guys, but with that being said, let's get right into the topic of the video, the real topic. Okay, so why are we going to get Michael Myers or Candyman as DLC? Well, that's honestly a pretty simple answer, but before that, let's take a look at Combat Pack 1. So in Combat Pack 1, we got three guest characters, Spawn, Joker, and Terminator. Now, Spawn made it into the game because of how demanded he is. He's been demanded, or should I say requested, by the fans to be in Mortal Kombat since MKX, guys. That's half a decade ago. That's five years of people requesting Spawn. So that's how Spawn made it into the game. Now how did Terminator and Joker make it into the game? Well that's pretty simple. Both Terminator and Joker had movies coming out just around the time of Combat Pack 1's release. So because of that they have, the, I mean it's not even anything new, MK, M Mortal Kombat in general usually does this, actually Netherrealm Studios and in Justice 2 we got Hellboy because he had a movie that came out around that time. Then in MKX, I, I really don't know, but I'm pretty sure quite a few of those characters had movies coming out. I know there was a Predator movie that came out a, a bit ago. Uh, I'm not sure about Alien, but basically what Netherrealm does is they try to tie guest characters to some sort of media thing, like a new movie or something like that. Now, in the case of Candyman and Michael Myers, they are both getting new movies by the end of this year. Candyman is getting a movie in late September of this year, like September 25, I believe. And, My and Michael Myers is getting his movie, Halloween, in October of this year. I believe it was October 16th. Like, they have their trailers out and everything. I don't even know if you guys knew about that. But yes, both Candyman and Michael Myers are coming out at the end of this year. And knowing Netherrealm, how they love tying their guest characters to like movies or TV shows that are coming out, there is a pretty high chance that we're gonna get at least one of these. And if, if I'm being honest, I'm pretty sure it'll be Michael Myers and not Candyman. But really guys, I have no clue. Like, maybe it'll be Candyman, I don't know. So yeah guys, there, there is a pretty high chance we're getting Michael Myers, in my opinion guys. Mainly because, not only because of his movie, but actually a lot of people have been requesting him for a while now. So Michael Myers, in my opinion, is the safest bet when it comes to a DLC guest character coming to MK11. But what I want to know is what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think we are going to get Michael Myers or Candyman? Or do you think we're not getting any of them? Maybe someone else? Please let me know all that in the comment section down below. Other than that, be sure to stay subscribed for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.